La belle stupide. Ah. La belle stupide. La belle stupide. La belle stupide. Ah. stupide. Ah. stupide. Ah. Ah. stupide. Ah. you. Are you mad? I know you want. I belle stupide. Ah. In July 2019, a video showing then Senator elect Elisha Abu physically assaulting a woman began circulating online. Details later emerged that Senator Abu allegedly physically assaulted Ms. Osimibra Wamate in a sex toy shop in Wusi Abuja on May 11, 2019, following her intervention in a disagreement involving Senator Abu and the shopkeepers after his companion vomited and fainted in the shop. The video, which went viral, angered many Nigerians who organized protests at the police headquarters and at the National Assembly demanding justice. I, I, I would have been, I would... While the police promised to investigate the assault, the Senate also set up an ad hoc committee to investigate the matter. However, the report by the committee is yet to be presented on the floor. I am here to apologize to Nigerians. In a news conference, Senator Abu apologized to Nigerians, particularly to the family of the woman he assaulted. I personally apologize to Bibra and her family for my actions. But on July 31st, 2020, a magistrate court in Zuba, on the outskirts of Abuja, dismissed the assault case instituted by the police against Senator Abu. The court upheld the no-case submission filed by the senator saying the police failed to prove its case beyond reasonable doubt that the lawmaker indeed assaulted Osimbiba Wamate on May 11, 2019. The court found that press statement, press conference granted by Senator Abu is not a confessional statement which can be used in convicting him. And therefore the court was of the view that the, based on the evidence presented by the, by the prosecution, including the victim herself, is not enough to substantiate the allegation. Buki Shonibare was one of the protesters who is demanding justice for the assaulted victim. She says the court judgment is a big blow to Nigerians and a setback on the war against gender-based violence. Saying that the video evidence, the CCTV, or the um, Elisha Abo's apology was not tenable, or the medical reports, those were the three evidence that were presented, that they were not sufficient in proving that case. Then we have a problem where the system is designed to protect the high and mighty against the low and vulnerable. She's also extremely disappointed with law enforcement agencies and the National Assembly. Have architecture systems in place where one of your own goes against that law. You do everything possible to make sure that the person does not stand any longer as a lawmaker. It was too clear. Everybody One day a day is a gender rights activist. She says the court judgment the underscores the difficulties in assessing justice for gender-based violence. You spend money to open files. You spend money to move files from one point to another to arrest the suspect. You're going to spend money if you go to the police. If you have to go to court, before the case is charged to court, you're going to just keep spending money. And at the end of the day, you're not even sure if you're going to get justice. It is not known for now if the judgment will be appealed by the police or the victim. Linda Kibi, Channels Television News.